Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing none of those three things that I just listed actually. <laughs> well, maybe streetwear, you can probably kind of count it in there. But what I'm going to be unboxing is the Kangol 504 wool cap that I picked up from golf box yeah i know some of you are probably like but daniel don't you already have a wool 504 kangle cap like well, why do you why are you buying a second one are you getting a different color are you spicing it up with a bit di bit of color uh no <laughs> unfortunately not no i'm buying the same color that i bought when i first did my big haul of kangle hats from culture kings uh which is the black color of the 504 um i'm buying it in a different size i'm buying it in an extra large versus the 2 2xl that i had from culture kings the reason that i'm buying the extra large is not because the 2xl was too big there's actually a bit of a story to that so in February, I went to the music festival party in the paddock. Uh, I went to that music festival and most of the time at that festival, I wore my lovely Noir Rancher uh, hat from Lack of Color. It kept me so sun safe. Beautiful hat, fantastic hat. I didn't apply any sunscreen to my shoulders, neck or face at all during that festival because ha because of my lack of color hat. It was so wide, it was casting a shadow and keeping me sun safe in that whole area for the whole festival. I didn't get burnt once at all. It was fantastic, absolutely loved it. But the problem was is that during the evening, it was a bit inconvenient to be wearing a large wide brimmed hat when the sun went completely down so i wanted to bring a second hat to the festival just to wear during the evenings now most of the time i actually just stayed out of the music for so long that i didn't get an opportunity to change those hats but there was one or two nights where i did change the hat to the kangol 504 cap that i brought to party in the paddock now this is the part that i'm really kicking myself about i remember Packing up my hiking bag, putting everything away. I remember putting the Kangol hat in the bag, but the distance from where I packed up my campsite to my mate's car, who was giving me a lift back from the festival, it must have fallen out of the bag. It must have, I don't know. It was gone. I, I rummaged through that bag like eight or nine times the weekend that I came back from the festival and it was nowhere to be found. I asked my mate to check his car, nowhere to be found. So it's lost. I'm just, I'm just convinced it was gone. And literally for the past week since that festival, I was on the hunt to replace it. And you know what? Initially in that whole journey, I thought, yeah, this is easy. You know, Kangol, huge brand. Australians love Kangol. I see them rocking the bucket hats all the time. It's going to be super easy to replace the wool cap that I've lost. I was completely incorrect. Culture Kings had sold out. All the other places had sold out. Kangol's online store, which is situated in the US, had it available. But if I wanted to buy just one of them, the shipping would be 50 US dollars. And I was like, there is no way I'm paying 50 US dollars to get a tiny ass hat shipped to me. No way. So I was hunting. I was hunting through the uh, pages of Google. I don't think I've ever been to page three of Google. But here we are. <laughs> and eventually, on like page two or three of Google, I found this golf box, which to me seems to be a boutique that sells golfing goods. And purely just by chance, they had some Kangol uh, 504 hats in the colors that I want available and on sale, on clearance, because nobody wants them. So I was like, yes, let's go but it didn't have a 2xl it only had an extra large but when i bought the 2xl it was not roomy it wasn't tight it was a good fit it was a good fit and i honestly think that i should be able to fit the extra large today but that's i guess what this video is today to find out can i fit the extra large 
let's get into it. Let's unbox it. You know the story of how we've gotten to this point at the end of February of 2024. Let's get into unboxing this and see if the extra large fits my head. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I... I obviously love the Kangol hats so much since I did that initial haul from Culture Kings because I'm buying a replacement one and if I didn't like it I obviously wouldn't buy a replacement one but yeah ever since I kind of diversified my my hat um I guess wardrobe um I've, I've come to really enjoy the, the Kangol hat offerings that they have and I definitely will be picking them up in the future and rocking them Probably until the day that I croak, man. Like, I really, really do enjoy the hats. Um, I've been wearing the beret that I bought in that haul. You can see it kind of falling out of that white plastic bag in the background. Love that beret. Uh, initially, I was a bit confused on how to wear it because I kind of didn't give it a direction. But now that I've been giving, like, putting it on and then giving it a direction to sit, it's been really lovely. And it's actually it broadened my horizons on berets and looking into things like that because that is a one size fits all beret. I would like one that's a little bit more, I guess, giving in the sizing area because it does get a little bit tight around my head after a while. But um, yeah, love them, love them. If, if Kangol ever wants to do a collaboration, let's work together. But uh, yep, here we are. We got the Kangol 504 wool flat cap in a black extra large I'm, I'm really hoping it does fit I, I reckon it will fit and it's the exact logo that I wanted as well so I was quite concerned when I was shopping around for them because some of them have the Kangol logo in a gold and like that's fine but I'm not a gold fella <laughs> so I wanted something with the silver or a white logo because yeah I just don't wear gold and it would have just been like it's such a tiny detail. It's like that as gold is such a tiny detail, but it's the tiny details that matter. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I had to get it in a silver or white. And I think this one is technically the white, but we'll pull it out and get it out. Um, yeah, when I was hunting for this replacement one, I didn't want to pay the full retail price because in like Australia, it's a hundred Australian dollars for these hats. That's just too expensive, man. I, I just don't think it's worth that kind of price. Um, unless I get one that is like made in the US or like made in some area which requires high production costs, I just can't justify it. Uh, would I love to do my own collaboration with Kangol and do like an Australian made one? Absolutely, because um, what I would do is probably replace the, the British flag in there and uh, put the Australian flag in there and, you know, I'd, I'd change up all the little details. <laughs> but here is the extra large. It already seems a lot smaller than the uh, 2XL, but I'm going to give it a shot. So traditionally you would wear it this way and it fits perfectly fine. Do I wear it this way? Not really. There's not many outfits that I could kind of see myself wearing it like this. I could probably wear this and some really nice dark indigo or black uh, denim jackets, matching denim pants, and then maybe just a nice shirt. And that could kind of be an outfit put together like that. But I actually kind of wear it the way that Samuel L. Jackson kind of pioneered to wear it, which is wearing it facing backwards. And honestly, it all works quite well. Although it does look a bit misshapen this time around. So I don't know if that's just my big ass forehead being my big ass forehead, but I'll see if I can try and get it. Maybe tuck my ears in as well. See if I can kind of get that look. I might have to stretch the extra large out a little bit to get the kind of desired look that I kind of want, but I can already tell this is a lot smaller than the uh, 2XL, but it's tight in areas that I actually did want tighter when I first bought the 2XL. So it kind of works in some ways and I need to actually like situate the kangaroo like that. Okay, there we go. I'm happy that it's back. <laughs> I feel like I'm back to my old self now, now that I've got this hat. And this one was actually a lot cleaner than the one that I had because uh, mine started attracting a lot of cat hair to it. So it's actually quite nice to have it nice and black for once and not black with like gray and white cat hairs on it <laughs> so yeah i'm when i move into my new apartment definitely not getting cats i want to keep my wool items the color they are and not cover them in cat fur so i'm actually very keen for that but yeah 
there we go there is the extra large um how do i feel about it i think i'm gonna have to like shape it a bit more because it's a bit tighter in areas that the 2xl wasn't but i feel like over time it'll give and if i wash it in cold water and wear it and just like you know I guess constantly stretch out the material it'll eventually stretch uh that's what happened with the beret because the beret initially was like pincing my head it was really really tight but as i've just worn it for hours and hours on end it's eventually stretched out so the same is going to happen to this it's just going to take a bit of time but i actually like its tighter look it does look really nice as well so i'm kind of just posing left and right i would love this in like a burgundy color um, or just like a couple very versatile colors that I could wear with other pieces in my wardrobe. Maybe a white. I'd like it in a white. It would look really nice with a bunch of pieces in white. Um, yeah, no, it's just a fantastic hat. If you guys want to do exactly what I did, which is expand your roster of hat options, because men typically, we love our caps. We love caps. But we never go beyond that. We never try wide-brimmed hats. We never try wool caps. We never try berets. I'm telling you, if you want to expand your roster, do it. Buy a bunch of Kangol hats. It's a really good introductory piece to kind of break that seal. And then once you get comfortable in a certain style that you really like, you can obviously then go look for more expensive, more, I guess, handcrafted options instead of, you know, the i guess the more mass ma mass manufactured ones like kangle and stuff so yeah just my thoughts on that but yeah let me know your thoughts are you a kangle hat fan yes or no i've really been enjoying them and they work very well as a hat for someone who wants a i guess less sportier cap option to wear on a regular basis but um yeah let me know what your thoughts are on the 504 cap down in that comment section below but that is the Kangol 504 cap unboxed from Golfbox. Thank you, Golfbox, for one, having them in stock, two, having them on clearance, and three, having that express shipping, because that's fantastic. <laughs> it arrived in like two days after ordering it. Very happy with it. A bunch of my mates uh, at work actually kind of razzed me up about it, saying, mate, as if you're only buying one of them after losing it. And I'm like, don't do that to me. Don't try and enable me into buying like two of them and then another one in a different color and stuff like that. I need to be at least semi-financial, financially responsible as I move into my apartment in like the next week uh, and week and a half. Don't try and enable me. <laughs> Will I be back at Golf Box buying more of them? I can't say no, because it might be a yes. <laughs> we'll have to see what colors they have in stock, because yeah, I might be back. But I love them. It's fantastic to have it back. Um, I can finally stop wearing the beret every day. I finally have another option to go with. And hopefully this time, I don't lose this one, because I love it. It's a fantastic hat. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on um, any of the Kangol hats, any of the type of silhouettes like Kangol makes, if you're a fan of them or not. Um, or if you're thinking of picking one up, I'd love to have that conversation with you if you're thinking of picking one up. I definitely rate them, but I'd love to hear if you have any concerns about them down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering everything that I'm unboxing on the channel, you gotta give me those indicators I always ask you for which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're also trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,820 subscribers before the end of February. We are so close. I think we're one subscriber away or something like that. So please, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. If you know a mate that hasn't subscribed, Go tell that mate to subscribe because we are so close to hitting that milestone and hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to hit that milestone before the end of the month. But that is everything I had to say about this cap. If anything, I kind of just wanted to take you guys through the journey, the highs and lows of uh, going to party in the paddock and then losing my hat and then uh, having to buy another one <laughs> and hunting on page three of google to try and find one on sale or on clearance but uh yeah it's been a journey it's been a good journey that's everything i really have to say about it guys so until the next kangle video until the next unboxing video until the next streetwear talk video in general i'll catch you later